Hey guys, uh, so in this video let's try to add the rebar right into slab using Revit structure. Right, first let's understand the types of bar there. The first bar is um the what what was the name? The yeah, the main bar or the continuous slab bar. Um yeah, the bar goes something like this. It starts from here, you got a crank here. Then it goes straight up to the center and from center to the end point that goes right into L by 4. What is L? L is the size of the room plus 2 times the beam size. I see the beam size is here, maybe point 2. So the 2 into point 2. Point 2 is the beam size, both the same. So 2 into point 2 by Two, so that's point two. So this would be like three point two, as you can see right here, three point two. And when it is here, that is eight point two. All right, eight point two by four. L by four is this length, what you see right here, and uh, this length is L by five. I just given here, L by four and L by five. Right, and now this goes right into the face of the beam. Okay, so that is the uh, length. And now let's see the second bar, which is the alternative crank bar. Alternative crank bar. Which bar is, you know, this is the first bar. This is the main bar. And you could see that this is the alternative crank bar. Which is given alternate to the first main bar, alternative bar, main bar, alternative bar, it goes in cycles alternatively. Alright, let's see that goes right from the face of the beam to the face of the beam. Okay, yeah, mind the power. And the crank length is still L by 5. This is L by 5. Alright, let's uh, try and look the spacing. The spacing is a 125. So let's try and add these kind of bar right into Revit. So, as usual, you could draw column, beam, and slab. Take a big column, and yeah, maybe you could one. I am really not interested in doing that. Maybe I'm gonna go for a grid one. The span should be like maybe 5.8 meters far enough. One, two, three, and you could see that's 4.4 meter. Okay. Now in here, I'm adding a column here. I just make sure that this is concrete and placing it grid. Finish it. Let's go to beam. Take up the concrete beam and on grid and place it here and that's okay now let's look uh, for the slab floor and you should pick up the support option now click on this beam so I'll pass right through the center of the beam finish it I'm not really gonna see this symbols all right we need to have alternative bars here main bar alternative bar both are having different shape it's just not possibly not practically possible to draw by using this rebar option, but you can have path reinforcement and turn on the alternate bar options. Okay, take the path reinforcement. No, before that, I'm gonna select this lab. Selecting lab is really crazy. So let me manage, and yeah, I'll just make a selection set for slab. And I really want to call back slab, get in here, load this slab here, okay? Might be useful for you in the future days. And get into here and get at a path. Alright, now use pick line option and I'm gonna pick up this line here. That's coming to outside. I don't want to do that. Flip it. Alright, let's have some properties here. The bar should go straight into the bottom and uh, you have our spacing is 125 given. The bar diameter is 8T. The bar length, I don't know, maybe I could go for 6 meters. So the bar maybe could go for 7 meters, maybe 8 meters. You could change the length afterwards. But right now I want to select the rebar. And I don't want to see any hooks. Turn off all the hooks. We need to have the alternative bar options with diameter 8T. 
and the bar length can be like maybe I would go for seven meters okay it's not important and also turn off the hooks all right and now you don't want to see these tags here you could see that both bars are shown right here is outside of the slab get selected in any wise um, I think let me get into the hidden line go to fine you can see that both rebars are shown right here if you're given a small length it's practically hard for you to select rebar right without making a wireframe view okay that's your personal choice I'm not really interested in that all right now let's yeah get into level 2 and make sure that uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn it right into wireframe and the fine view make sure that this distance is a proper cover yeah I just see that I wanna select the slab and change the cover right into where's the slab we need the cover or the thickness of slab is 15 centimeter 150 then uh, I need to change the cover rate into 20 that's what we give here 20 that's it now trying to take a measurement from here to here that should show 20 which is correct in both ways nice now we don't need this path reinforcement option anymore so I'm gonna remove the path reinforcement system so these are individual bars showing one as a group and the another one as another group all right now let me select the slab it's hard for selecting the slab all right select one slab and you need to select one of the path reinforcement too which is the main bar now getting to south i'm going to oh shit. yeah i'm going to isolate the element so right in here we are having this slab and the main rebar now yeah i should do this right in the south elevation okay i'm sorry i thought i was in south elevation but i wasn't oh my god how to do this again pick up the slab if you or lazy to call up the selection set uh, use tab yeah and control click on the rebar change the view right into south and um, I think let's uh, yeah isolate the rebar right here okay that's right select the rebar and I should turn on the visibility sites in south that should turn on okay all right we are having a rebar right here right now let's uh, let's see uh, the distance right from center to here this is 840 I'm not considering the size whatever be the size you can get it right from the formula which I have explained before 840 millimeter okay for that I'm going to use a detail line annotate and get the detail line pick line and given an offset of 840 right from the end of the slab where the end of the slab is where the beam center is okay so both points are same end of the slab right axis in the center of the beam okay right now let me pull it down oh, man you should don't bend it okay that's right now i'm selecting this rebar editing this cage and yeah, selecting the rebar again Okay, if you're so lazy in zooming, align it, align this line and the end of this. Okay. Now I wanna draw another line. This should angle 40 degree, 45 degree. Now first, now this goes right into the face of the. Yeah. Now again, selecting this. Okay. Oh, we need to have another length of. Oh, how much you said from the center? This goes right into 950. So click it first and equal to using the formula and 40 plus what's the distance I don't remember that's 950 950 let's, let's not turn on come on bro 950 enter so that's it uh, alright alright
right so you can see another green line that shows right at the top of the rebar now let's go for edit constraints you know, selecting this rebar edit the constraint right from here to here that goes right into zero and to finish it i'm gonna turn the diameter of the rebar is 8 mm all right that's it now let's uh do something right here how long does it go it goes right into the face of the cover of the beam so that's it so again edit constraints uh, yeah, it's selecting the asset here and can you guess what is the size of the beam? I think this is the beam I don't I don't, I don't know. I can't select it anymore. So it's not a big deal. I think we can uh, yeah reset the Selection what is this line? That's great. Okay. I Think yeah, you can edit the constraints picking up this line what is a beam right in here which is the beam is this no that's that's for the column i think is this for the beam i think zero is much better i don't know whether it's beam or what is that beam I'll show you that this is the beam and yeah you can see this is the beam and this is the cover from the beam okay which is absolutely correct well, that's all about the main bar now let's talk about the alternator bar so selecting the bar uh, before selecting the bar let's try to look the spacing mm, where is that that is yeah from the center of the beam that goes right into 840 so using the same detail line dl pick line and offset is i40 oh uh, yeah i think this this distance is yeah right here now i did the sketch it's the same procedure as before align it this line and this point and uh i think yeah take it up this line and angle is 135 and goes right into this point i don't think this is properly snapping here no it's not a problem i think you can edit the constraints again oh which, which is that like this is the face of the slab i think this distance should be zero and you could always have this distance okay that is selecting this one selecting this and turn it back into zero yep all right that's it now we we have an we have a situation here this link should terminate right into the uh, face of the cover yep so again get it edit constraints picking up this bar first bar and we are having this line and this distance shall be zero that's it all right these are all about the main bar and uh, what do you say alternate crank bars let's talk about the distribution steel next all right uh, let's talk about the distribution steel this will only work if the slab is one way towards the one way span that goes the distribution steel I mean perpendicular to the support that goes right a distribution steel um I'll, I'll show you that with the diagram the um when the asset is perpendicular um, just wait yeah perpendicular to support we are having distribution steel that's it now if it, the slab is two-way we don't have any kind of distribution steel same the mm, main bar and the alternative crank bar goes in both directions i don't know whether you understood or not but not really into this all right um yeah let's um try to plug in distribution steel right how to place it the first distance is 8.3 meter which is the center to center distance of the slab plus 0.2 and 0.2 that will take you away that's the outer to outer distance and subtract it with the cover of the beam that goes right from the face of the beam to another face of the beam all right all the best way to provide it is the 
south elevation itself. Yep, yeah, rebar, rebar, and the rebar goes right, maybe parallel to cover. Yeah, that's it. And yeah, this is a new cover reference. If it doesn't work, do not worry, cut a section here. I don't think it will work. Yeah, it's so lazy. What's that? Take the bar 1A. You know, can't get it. 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 All you need is cut a section. Alright. Oh man, I'm so lazy to cut a section here. Uh, yeah, let me try to cut a section here. Now right click section and go to view. Alright. We have a slab here. Now turn it right into the fine view. And mm, is this correct? Is this the is this correct? That is not correct. What's that? That's so crazy. Where's the edit constraints? What these both these things are both different. I don't know which is correct and which is wrong. What is the beam? This is the beam. So I think both rebar should determine right into this point. I think both are wrong. I don't know why, but uh what is that? This is what what is this? This is the column, right? This is the column and this is the beam. Okay right so no problem with that okay anyways you got the point i'm gonna select this point and this one and this should be zero all right the same case applicable to this one any constraints and yeah pick up this one this one and go straight to zero all right that's correct right now all right anyways is great oh selecting the slab rebar uh, maybe 8 mm and this goes right into purple maybe paddle to cover and current work plane so that's totally fine you're gonna place it over this bar maybe from the yeah from the face of the yeah from the face of the um, cover or maybe I think this one will be fine you know just place it anywhere Okay, place it anyway. No, no worries. Now change it up to maximum spacing. That's wrong. Do it again. Selecting this rebar and uh, yeah, this should be perpendicular to cover. Now place it. I'm gonna select it again, and now maybe you should go to maximum spacing that's again wrong so we have a solution for that uh, yeah use parallel to cover option now use shift shift and yeah shift and yeah, you should yeah click on this one that's it that's all turn it right to maximum spacing you could see that goes parallel to this direction now let's try to look at this spacing it is 250 center to center 250 center to center now what is the center and what is the center? The center is the total distance is Oh yeah, start from the uh, cover of the slab, that's it. Now I'm gonna select it, get into edit constraints. This is the point. Where's the start of the slab? First let's try to look at the start of the slab is right here. And the cover of the slab is yeah, so start from the cover of the slab. Uh, that's all okay starting from the cover to slab and it should end right at the cover to slab too so which is I don't know is this, is this, is this okay yeah that's the cover to slab here okay that's great um, so the spacing is all right now let's uh, try to move this down usually if um, you think the distributor bar goes beneath the main bar i don't know I, I never seen anything like that if that's the case you can use the edit constraint options for the uh, main bar and alternative crank bar too maybe i'm gonna select it and i would like to edit constraints 
the horizontal line from this that's it all right now let's uh, look the length of it getting to level 2 the length is for that I'm gonna select this lab yes yeah, select oh yeah load the selection uh, I don't see this lab is not yet selected It's not been showing. What? Still so miss my face and I'll click on this. But it's not been selecting. Oh my god, that's okay, no problem. I'm selected. You can see that uh, this distance should be cover. Let's measure it. From here to here, that should show 20, which is totally fine. okay what about here that's also fine that's all about the distributor bars now let's look about the crank distributor which goes right beneath the crank oh man I'm so lazy right now okay uh, this should start right from the right from this point and end right in here okay all right now for that I'm selecting the rebar do the same procedure I'm gonna select it selecting this point and let me try to change this by using number with spacing I think this is what's the spacing I don't know the spacing is same as that of this 250 is the spacing I'm gonna change the spacing right to 250 is the three numbers enough maybe I don't know whether fourth number is not enough okay three numbers are far enough fine let me mirror it maybe pick axis or draw axis or is fine from first point to second point all right that's um, should start right from the cover three numbers is far enough maybe the fourth number is not good all right that's it is our crank distributor bar and i think everything is all right now no, one more thing is there now the top extra bar on discontinuous edge so there is only one discontinuous edge actually there are three discontinuous edges here oh my god one two three four discontinuous edges are here i'm assuming that there is only one discontinuous edge and all the other faces is having slab maybe we are having slab here here and here so that edges are not discontinuous only this edge is discontinuous in order to add uh, the bar right there I think a south elevation is far enough okay all right selecting this lab I'm so sorry this video is getting so annoyed I'm so lazy right now I'm what's the time right now I was talking continuously for 23 minutes oh my god I never did this kind of videos the um, very did I don't worry this is the last bar okay yeah when I and this one should be parallel to the parallel to the what parallel to the work plane right no I'm in parallel to cover no what this should work oh my god what's wrong with you let me try to yeah be selecting this and getting the rebar what is that what's wrong with this lab no I don't know what's wrong with this lab I can't can't select this lab right what's wrong with you that's not an important issue that's not an important issue okay all right anyway place it on the beam really it doesn't matter I think so I never did that usually slabs slabs could work great right? I don't know what's wrong with that anyways I'm gonna select in this lab south and we have methods for that isolate element and selecting the slab rebar you're gonna get it in any wise 
Uh, yeah, might be gonna place it right here. All right. Now call back everyone. Yeah, you can see that product is right here. All right. Now let's see what's the um. That's the length of that. Length of the top extra bar is L by four. So maybe I'm gonna go for one zero five zero from the center. From the center of what? From the center of beam. All right. So we have a beam right here. Yeah, you got a beam right here. Now DL for detail line, pick line, and turn it right offset is one zero five zero. And yeah, you can just move it right there. Now this is the bar, and I'm gonna isolate it. You know, it's not so important to isolate it. Now align it. Pick up this line and click on the end of the rebar. So that's it. Now this line is no longer required. And call back everyone. All right. Now what what is the distance? Uh, yeah, the double of the line bar. So that is two fifty. Is the spacing? yeah the spacing is maximum spacing of 250 is given that's good all right the star is starting from right from the center of the are you sure this is this is the center of the center of the slab yes that's the center of the slab no it's not this is the center of this center of the beam no, it, what what is it? What is this line? Is that the center of the beam? No. Okay, one. Then I'm gonna drag it right and drop it to here. But a line will work properly. Tool number. I don't do any crazy things. That's it. That's it. All right. Now I'm going to change the spacing back. Maximum spacing of two fifty. That's it. That's it. Everything is over. Yeah. Selecting all filter and I'm going for structural rebar. And turn on all the views right here. Turn on all the views in 3D. Now that's it. Yeah bro, I'm gonna quit. That's it. That's it. I'm not doing this type of videos anymore. I'm getting so lazy. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm so tired. Bye.